Michael Vey is a story of a 14-year-old boy who has Tourette syndrome, but also a very special gift. He has electric powers. He has been hiding this gift for his entire life for reasons you find out in the book. But when he discovers that someone else has a power similar to his, and they begin looking for the reason why they are the way they are, they accidentally alert the people who made them the way they are. And as they fall into a trap, and these people now start hunting them. When I first started writing Michael Vey, it, it wasn't so much I wanted to write a book for teenagers as I just wanted to write a good story that could be enjoyed also by teenagers. I wanted to write something that my fans would like as well. And so um, I also realized as I started talking to booksellers around the country that there had been a, a, a very noticeable shift in the kinds of books that were being published in the young adult market, that they had become very dark and very uh, dystopian, which is really the counter of what my books have for adults have been about, so I thought I'd bring that over into this market to write something that still had that edge, that was fun, that was scary, but ultimately was about hope and loyalty and about reaching for um, something that's good within all of us. My main character in the book, Michael Vey, has Tourette syndrome. I have Tourette syndrome. My uh, son has Tourette syndrome. It's something I grew up with. It's something uh, that was difficult. I watched my son struggle with it. I thought by making this character very real, by giving him Tourette syndrome, that it would um, help other youth who had Tourette syndrome, help people to understand them. And what has happened in the schools where we've taken this book, that's exactly what it's done. I received a letter from a young man who said how much I, he wanted to tell me how much he loved Michael Vane, and he said, but especially since I have Tourette syndrome and my classmates now treat me differently. He said, for the first time in my life, I don't feel like a freak anymore. When I finished writing Michael Vey in the first draft, I took a copy to my son's English teacher, my son's in middle school, seventh grade, and gave it to her and said, would you mind just looking at this and seeing if you like it? And uh, if you'd like, you can, you can teach from it. She called me two days later. She had read the book in a day and a half. She said, I could not put that book down. I definitely want to teach off this. There were some really remarkable lessons about tolerance, about kindness, um, about the value of intelligence. The kids reported um, that it was the most popular book they had ever read. In fact, afterwards we went back and did, um, we did anonymous surveys with the youth. 98% of them said that everyone in the class liked the book. 91% of them liked or loved the book. When we asked them how many would like to read, only 70% answered yes. And so we captured those people who didn't like to read as well. Uh, in every school, we took them to three different cities, three different middle schools. In every case, the teachers or the, or the administrators reported that it was the most popular book that had ever come through their classroom. So we were very excited about what we saw. Um, and as one teacher said, we've read some excellent novels, but Michael Vey is something special that may not come, come again.